If electrical energy costs 12 cents or 0.12 dollars per kilowatt hour, then what would the following what would the following events cost? The first is a burning burning a 40 watt light bulb for 24 hours straight. Second is op operating an electrical oven for four hours if it carries a current of 20 amps at 220 volts. And so for part A, what I want to point out is so we have the cost per kilowatt hour. So kilowatts are our power, and but whenever you, so power power is equal to work over time. And so if you solve for work, so work equals power times time. So what you have in a kilowatt hour is a kilowatt, which is uh, power, times an hour, which is time. So this equals the work, or in, you would say the energy. So work and energy is the same thing. So what I have here is I have, I have a cost. So I have 0 0.12, and the 0 0.12 dollars, dollars over one kilowatt times one hour. And I'm given units of watts and hours. So I have a choice of either converting this to kilowatts or converting this to, uh, or converting my kilowatt hours to joules per second, or joules times seconds, and then converting uh, this to seconds, converting the 24 hours to seconds. So it's much easier just to convert this to kilowatts. So you get 0 0.04 kilowatts times 24 hours, and then you just uh, put that as the denominator over 0 0.12. Or I'm sorry, no, that's not what you do. So if I have my my price, my, this would say price per unit of price per unit of of work. I just multiply that by the work to find the price. And so I'm just going to multiply 0 0.12 times the 0 0.04 times 24. And so I kind of already wrote all this stuff out just to uh, make it look a little bit easier. So this is power and this is time. And you can convert it all to joules, which would be 3,600,000 joules. Um, and then you just do uh, power times time is equal to work. And you set it all up just like we did. So uh, power times time times this uh, unit would give you um, this times 40 times... Uh, converting 24 hours to seconds, so times that many seconds, and you can do it that way as well. So uh, the easy way is just to keep that in kilowatt hours at the present, you know, for that for that problem. And the next problem you want to convert it. So the next problem says if you're operating an electric oven for four hours and it carries a current of 20 amps, so what's it going to cost? So you have to again you have to get to work, and again we said that work is equal to power times time. But uh, we also know that, that work is equal to, um, so work is the, the force times the distance, and with electricity, force is equal to um, delta Q times delta V. And so we divide that by time, we can say that's equal to power as well. Or if you substitute um, delta Q over T is also equal to, is the equation for current. So you can say that I times delta V is also equal to power. Well, in this problem, we just need two equations for, for power, one that has to contain work, and the other one has to contain the units that we're given, which is current and potential, so current and potential. So this one contains work, this one contains current and potential. So we just set that up as the, the work. When we solve for work, so let's move all this up. So when we solve for work, from this equation, we get it equals power times time. And so then we can substitute power for this equation. So work equals power times time. And we substitute power for IV. So I, uh, I times delta V times T is equal to work. And we, we have all of those units already. So we just plug in that the cost per unit of work is equal to 0.12 over 3.6 uh, million. And so then we can get that the, the cost is equal to is equal to uh, our ratio times our work. So our cost is equal to this ratio times I delta V times T. So of course you just want to keep the ratio here and then for I you've got 20 amps and for V you've got uh, 220 and for T you gotta convert that to seconds so it's 4 times 3600 
and then uh, when you multiply all that together, you should get a number of 2.112, so $2.11. Now, one of the last thing I want to say is whenever you do the first part of the equation, um, I got an answer uh, originally of 0 0.115. That's 11 and a half cents. So I put in a 12. It said that I was off by, 10, by less than 10%. So I put in an 11. It said I was off by less than 10%. So then I tried a 10 and I tried a 13. Both of these said I was off greater than 10%. So I went back and I was like, well, I, it must want the exact number. It must want the half cents. So make sure you put in the half cents whenever you do the problem. Thanks for watching. Leave your comments down in the comments on my blog. If you're not on my blog, you're on YouTube, go to the About section and click on the link if you want to ask me a question.